Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings, where we are currently in a rather interesting situation in that the Prussia Ascendant game has just ended. So we need to start a new one. Now, I let me just pull this up here. If I get into Google Chrome and switch over to our display capture. And uh, almost there. There we go. Excellent. You can see I'm currently uploading the uh, Prussia Ascendant conclusion, but uh, you, you can also see just how terrible my upload speed is. But that's not the point here. The point here is that this poll was put up for Prussia Ascendant drawing to a close and what should replace it. The winner was CK3 in Middle East and Africa with the Islamic religion. Now, that is something that I am going to do. However, in the comments, there's also this one here from Time Zone. I'd love, for you to, love to see you play the Air Empire in Africa. I have no idea if it's actually pronounced Air or if it's like Air, like Starcraft or whatever, but I'm going to call it Air because that's what I do. So that is actually a nice overlap there. I like this concept. I mean, you guys know me. I like I, I like playing things in Africa and not necessarily in Europe when I'm supposed to be in Europe. But uh, that's the general idea here. Now, I don't have a name for this series yet. I'll have to come up with that after this episode. And you guys will already see what the, the name is. But the theory... Or not the... No, you can get out of there. The... The theme behind it is that we're going to be pursuing the Islamic religion. We're not going to start with it. But... We're going to do an Africa game as Islamic. So let's hop on back to Crusader Kings here. And we will go ahead and go into new game. We're not going to play as any of these jerks. And we're not going to play in... What is this time period? 1066? Yeah, we're not going to play in 1066 either. We're going all the way back to 867. And we are going to do a different ruler than one of the recommended ones. I'm not going to do a custom created ruler this time, although that is a feature in the game now, but that is not a thing that we're going to do just yet. Now, look at this mess. Is this not glorious? This is what I like to see right here when I'm looking for a start. Just a bunch of tiny little guys. That's also part of the reason why I'm drawn to the Ethiopia region. And honestly, that's part of the reason why I was drawn to Prussia. Look at how tiny Prussia is. Isn't that just adorable? <laughs> We've learned a lot from the Prussia Ascendant game. And I think that this is going to go very interestingly. Now, this is going to be another situation where we're going to be a bit behind culturally. But I'm okay with that. And if we go into the De Jure Empire titles, we'll see there is no Air De Jure Empire. We'll probably have to make one like we did with Prussia. In terms of kingdom titles, nope, there isn't one. But there is a duchy. Right here. Excellent. Oh wait, that starts as a sheikdom? I didn't even look at that. Uh, do we start Islamic? Let's see, how do we do this? I know there's a way to open this up. Oh no, we don't start Islamic. Okay, noted. We're gonna have to pursue Islam then. But that's, that's not a big deal. So we're wrathful, ambitious, forgiving. Okay, but this is the guy we're going to be playing as. Now he is 67. And he has a pretty decent air. This faith is going to be interesting. Far, far more obnoxious than our reformed vitalism, to be sure. But let's go ahead and... Hit this play button. Although first, I'm actually going to change some game rules. Difficulty is on normal. That's fine. I don't mind that. Exclave independence is set to significant. This is all on default, by the way. Like, this is the default. So we're going to run this mostly on default. However, there are a couple of things that we'll have to change. I'm going to actually set this end date... No, we're going to we're going to leave it. We're going to leave the end date in 1453. We can always adjust it in the game files like we did with Prussia Ascendant if we need to, but I suspect that we will not. So all be exactly the same. So actually, I don't think there's anything that we need to change in this. I think we're completely fine. We could create our own ruler. I'm not going to this go round. So we are this guy. 
We have 575 troops. Oh boy. Making 1.5 gold per month. This is a big change for me. I literally just recorded the last episode of Prussia Ascendant like five minutes ago. <laughs> Actually, th we're five minutes in right now, like 10 minutes ago. So this is going to be interesting. We do need a spouse, and we probably should go by alliance power. This is very awkward, but we're mostly looking for the alliance here. Excellent. We need a lifestyle. I feel like we have to go with wealth focus. What is the education of our son? He is indulgent wastrel. I mean, okay. Better than it might have been. Better than it might have been. Okay, so let's look at our holdings here. We currently hold two tribes. That's actually pretty good. And we actually start as a duke level title. I like that. I like that a lot. So in terms of constructions over here, it's going to take some time. We should definitely look at our council. And we should look at our religion and our culture as well. Let's look at culture first. So we're currently being exposed to mots. I don't mind that. And we're currently fascinating quilted armor. That would give us the ability to, to recruit armored footmen, but I suspect we can't afford armored footmen as men-at-arms. We can get up to three men-at-arms regiments, and yeah, this is uh, <laughs> exciting. That said, remember, we're tribal, so prestige is our main currency right now, not gold. However, we're going to need to consider our future. We're not going to remain tribal forever. We have access to war, cam to war camels and Mubarazun. Okay, 45, 25, 0, 0. What about armored footmen? They're just better armored footmen. If we're going to be fascinating something, we should be fascinating this. That said, we're not the culture head. So we don't actually get to determine that. At least not yet. So there's these guys over here that look eminently crushable to me. Our capital duchy is... Not great in terms of holdings, right? We can have three holdings here, three holdings here, but there's only two counties. And this duchy is also only two counties. So we may want to consider moving our capital duchy out of air eventually. Now is obviously not the time to do that. But that's something we probably want to consider. Now, our development is super low. And our development growth, because our capital is desert, is reduced by 50%. So that means that we definitely want to attempt to find a location for our capital that is not desert. So we're definitely going to want to move our capital. There's no doubt about that. That is a medium-term plan. We could... That's an organized Muslim faith over there. We could potentially convert right now. Right? Ah, we don't have the faith. But we could theoretically convert fairly easily. Holy sites are off over here for Bori. What about for Abadi? Yeah, those are all over this way. Interesting. This is going to be a fascinating start. Do we have a CB on this guy? We don't want to do an invade kingdom on this guy. We could do a conquer county CB, though. That's something we could easily do. Now, I don't believe that we can declare instantly day one in CK3, can we? We should check that. Actually, we can. Okay, so we'll do that. Now, I do want to say, we are going to be following the same men-at-arms rules that we did in the latter half of Prussia Ascendant. No teleporting men-at-arms, and we are going to have a second rally point. And it's just going to be down here. Now, we're not going to use this rally point for now, because we don't have any men-at-arms. But we're going to be following the same exact rally point rules, because I don't like the teleporting men-at-arms. We're going to go ahead and raise up our levies here. 
and we're going to take a look. We've got champions. We've got enough levies. We should be able to do this and get ourselves an additional holding here. And if we look at the du jour duchies here, we can see that our next move would theoretically be to attack this guy. I'm not ready to unpause yet, though. We need to look at our council. This guy, he doesn't endorse us. Okay, sure. We're currently working on foreign affairs with our chancellor, and there's no reason to do anything else currently. Domestic affairs is pointless. We have no vassals. And integrate title is not even available until we hold a kingdom or empire. That'll happen eventually. Our steward is currently collecting taxes. That is, I think, the most useless thing he could be doing right now. He could promote culture. That said, I think... Actually, these aren't the correct culture right now. Yeah, these are not the correct culture. We could convert the culture... And that would not be the worst thing. We can also increase development in the county. That loses efficiency, though, because we're in the desert. So I think we're going to convert our cultures for now. Organizing levies is definitely what we want our marshal to be doing. And our spy master, I honestly don't care what our spy master is doing. I think we're ready to unpause here. So let's go ahead and get these guys raised up. And in we go. We did not see them raise levies, although they are now. But it looks like we're going to win this. We got our alliance. Fantastic. Our heir is currently unmarried, and we're going to go by alliance power here as well. Seven-year-old? I guess we'll do this. Just because I want to be producing heirs relatively soon. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. And in we go. We can call allies to war. We have too few spouses for someone of our faith. We should marry to negate the piety penalty we're currently suffering. Okay, so how many secondary spouses does our faith require us to have? Marriage type is polygamous, can have up to four spouses. Having too few spouses will incur a piety penalty. Well, that's awkward. I mean, I don't mind having the option for concubines, but okay. I guess we'll see if two is too few. I'm not sure what too few is. Let's see here. Okay, looks like two is acceptable. We can create the Duchy of Air. We don't have the gold for it, but that's okay. And there is winning our battle for Gobir. Excellent. Eight months on this siege. I think that's acceptable. We can ransom this guy. Is that counting towards our war score? No, it is not. Done. Give me that 10 gold. We could call our ally in. I'm not interested in doing that. The siege is actually a bit bugged and not appearing. Okay. Well, we are sieging there. So, five months on that. And we will grab ourselves our very first county, in addition to these two, of course. And we're also going to want to work on upgrading our tribal hold as much as we can. But I'm not too interested at this point in rushing for, like, organizing the faith and for uh, converting over... Or uh, converting over to uh, feudalism. I feel like I was a little bit too quick on that last time. And we kind of suffered for it. So this time we'll make sure to make some preparations on our development front and just general, general things. But we do, of course, need to expand. Now, Dejure Kingdoms, this is in a d different Dejure Kingdom than ours, which is slightly awkward, but that's okay. Let's see, is this? This is Drylands here. I'm interested in seeing... Okay, Drylands is a much better location for our capital. Noted. Well, we'll take that county and disband our army. Excellent. And this is now our tribal holding. Let's see, this is... 
desert over here. Drylands. This is desert and mountains. Which is a 50% malice. Just checking. I mean, 5% isn't that bad of a malice for development. So maybe we want to move our capital to here. Just temporarily until we find a proper home for it. Let's do it. Excellent. So we've got ourselves a fancy new capital. We need to work on our control there for sure. So let's have our marshal. There are no valid targets. Maybe we need to tick a day. Yeah, now there's valid targets. We'll work on control there. And then we're going to work on converting our cultures for a little bit. And then we will work on our development here. Excellent. So this is a better location for our capital. And of course, that means that we want to start work on probably markets, honestly, is what we're going to want first. We can declare wars. We can create a duchy. We could recruit men at arms. Yeah, these are all things we can do. And we should recruit the men at arms since that costs prestige. I'm going to recruit for right now. Let's see here. Bowmen are effective. Oh, that bugged out. Excellent. Bowmen are effective in hills, forest, and taiga. They're really good at this time period up in, like, the Prussia region. But I think down here they're not all that great. Light horsemen are good in plains, dry lands, hills, and they're bad in mountains, desert mountains, and wetlands. This honestly might be the best way to go. Camels are good in desert, drylands, oasis, floodplains, bad in hills, mountains, and wetlands. Honestly, I think camels are the way to go for right now. Light footmen, I think, are just bad. Just generally bad. I think. And this bugged again. Wonderful. I think we'll grab ourselves three units of camel riders. We'll get those maxed out. Excellent. And, of course, the maintenance on these is just prestige. So I'm 100% okay with that. Now, we do need one additional location for our domain limit. So we should definitely think about that. We should also think about creating the duchy level title so that we can have counts under us. And also so that we can potentially increase our domain limit. Something to think about. Of course, these guys over here are more powerful than us by a relatively large margin. They're going for bowmen. Awkward. And these guys over here are also a bit more powerful than us for now. We'll teach them the superiority of what I'm going to pronounce as the butter culture. Although I'm 100% certain that's not how that's pronounced. Excellent. So we're just at this point looking for some opportunities. 705 means that this might be a good option. Unfortunately, in terms of Dejure Duchies, we're a little bit problematic right now. Now, this is one, two, three counties here. I'd prefer a four county capital. This would actually be a pretty good one. So, actually, no, this is this is only a three-county capital. Never mind. This wouldn't be a terrible capital. Now, this is... Let's see here. Jungle, jungle, jungle. Yeah, this might be doable. We'd have to push all the way down to the south of the map. I don't think that's impossible to do, though. I absolutely don't. We need 125 gold. Noted. That's going to be interesting to pull off. Of course, once our camels are done reinforcing, we're going to be quite powerful, all things considered, in this region. We're still working on our control in the capital here. That's to be expected. And this guy, I actually think we can effectively attack him. 
I'd like to take just his capital. So I want to do a Conquer County CB. Now, we're currently lacking in prestige for this. So this would push us down in our fame. But I don't think we can actually get any lower in our fame. Do we actually care about this fame penalty? I'm not convinced we do. Let's declare this. Okay. So now we have men at arms. We're going to put our men at arms here. Excellent. And then we're going to put our levies here. Wonderful. Our men at arms are going to immediately head in and start sieging. We have no siege weapons, but that's to be expected. In we go. With our levies. This should not be a problem, this battle. Yeah, absolutely fine. Wonderful. I don't think we stack wipe them. No, we don't. This is a relatively large force. We'll have to keep an eye on that. Seven months on this siege. How many do we need to be siege? You know what? 427? Let's take a look here. We need 250 currently. So we could leave behind... Not station besiegers. We could leave behind something along the lines of... These 232 plus, say... 150 here. Take these guys and chase them down. Leave just levies behind. Yeah, I like it. We have an injured champion. I'm not sure we care. Are we at the max here? Yes, we are. So we're going to have to get this siege done for sure. Let him lock in here. Actually, let him lock in here. And we'll fight him right there. Glorious. Okay. We have a new perk available. And we will grab... I mean, I would love to grab Golden Obligations. I'm not sure how useful going down the Avaricious Tree is for us right now, though. Perhaps cutting Cornerstones would be better right now. Like, honestly, other than the income from the Wealth Focus, I'm not sure this is too important. Maybe we should switch over to... Just looking for a prestige gain. Diplomacy? We could go for Majesty Focus. That's a thing we could do. That said, I do like that 10% boost. We're going to get our prestige primarily from fighting, right? So that's a thing that we should consider. So the question then becomes... What do we grab here? Taxman? No, nah, we'll grab Cutting Cornerstones. Okay. So at this point, all we need to do is finish up these sieges. And we will get ourselves up to our domain limit. And that's fantastic. We have a child of our dynasty. Okay. Sure. Prisoners can be ransomed. However, uh, those aren't actually counting towards our war score. Good to know. We'll get the cash. Excellent. We're at 93% war score. Okay. Up we go. We can ransom this one as well. And so we shall. And this one. Fantastic. And we're very close to being able to make our duchy, which is a very good thing because we'll need to be duke level in order to expand any more beyond this. An enemy ally just joined the war. I feel like they're too late. I definitely feel like they're too late. This war's over. They're coming back. They're going to try to fight us, I guess. It would be kind of foolish if they did. Yeah, they're not going to. Fair enough. The war's over in 10 days.
Excellent. We'll enforce that. So be it. Disband all. And there we go. We are at our force limit. Of course, our control is super low here, and we're going to need to work on our development in our capital. We don't really care about working on development in any of these other locations because they're all desert, but there we go. We've got ourselves a start here. However, it is time to put the first cut of this series in, and so I shall. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all next time as we continue our expansion.